What's up, y'all? It's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel, Ellie Cat TV. So today, <laughs> I'm giving you frontal realness, boo, and I'm giving you, <gasps> oh, I'm giving you lash. I'm giving you, I'm giving, I'm giving you all of that. And I'm gonna show you how I got it. <laughs> no, but uh, on Instagram, this girl had asked me how do I put my lashes on, and um, she's not here because I put lashes on, but she don't live in my city. So I was like, let me go and do a video for sis. I got an older video on it, but hoodie. And I also want to show y'all my, like, go-to eyeshadow look and what I do, you know, if I don't know what I'm going to wear or wherever we going or I'm on the vibe or I'm running. I know me. My makeup be the first thing I have to do because if they don't be done, then I'm not going to go nowhere. So I was like, let me just show them real quick my little, my little uh, eyeshadow. And I had some, um, I had some new products that I was using. I used this. Uh, I didn't already put it up. Honey, I didn't put it up, but you, you gonna see in the video. And um, go on and like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video if you if you enjoy. Because you gonna enjoy, gonna cut the bell. Because you know, honey, we all know around here that I don't have a schedule, so we don't know when I'm gonna post. So if you have your bell on, then you gonna always know because it's gonna always alert you when I post. So go on and click the bell. Go on and click it. Go on and click it. Go on and click it. So you oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. <laughs> You just know because we're gonna surprise I'm gonna surprise myself and I'm gonna surprise y'all. But if you had a bell on, then you just know. So you ain't gotta keep coming back to my channel. You just had a bell on, then you know what I post. They're gonna like the video because you're gonna like it. Leave a comment while you at it. Let me know what y'all wanna see. And yeah, just ju ju watch the video. Alright, y'all. So we're gonna hop right into it. Um so uh um I went ahead and just did my brows because I don't want this video to be super long and I'm not gonna show y'all how to do my foundation. I have a video on how I do my new foundation routine. I will link it in the description. But I do have a couple new products that I went shopping, so that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, I'm gonna just kinda do my go to makeup look because I don't think I did a video on it yet. And yeah, I'm gonna use some new products and then I'm gonna show y'all how to put my lashes on and yeah, we are gonna get to it. So yeah. Hopefully I already did my intro. <laughs> but I didn't hey. But um I um, went to the beauty spa store because I was out of this, and this is just the rose water. I have like a couple more faces to go, maybe two or three more faces to go with this. So I got this is the rose water hydrating this, but I wanted to try the coconut water one because I love the way coconut smells. So I'm just gonna spray my face. I haven't put any primer on yet, so we're just gonna spray the face with this. And I got this little thing at the beauty spa store too to push my hair back. I think it's gonna be perfect for when I wear my frontals because I got this one's a frontal and my curly wigs a frontal. So yeah. I'll spray it out first. Okay, okay. Mm. And it's for your, it says it's for your face and your body. So you just go. Oof. So yeah. I just want y'all to see me uh, using that. And I don't know if you're supposed to, like, I don't know. Y'all, the other, I don't know if you're supposed to be using primer with that, but I always use primer because I'm so oily. So, um, infallible lock it. And we're just going to do that real quick. See, I'm just going to put this on. And like I said, I do my brows. Y'all, I had messed up this brow. Girl, I caught myself, honey, being a, um... Y'all probably could tell in my other video. I don't know what order I'm going to put them up. But I did a mukbang. Hopefully, when I edit it, it looks good. Because I'm the type of person. I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Then I'll go back. I'll record the whole video. And I'll be like, mm-mm, don't like it. So, I won't upload it. Hopefully, I liked it. I uploaded it. But y'all see my... I don't have any makeup on there. You'll see my brow, honey. And it is... <laughs> Oh, honey. I call what's the other? Well, I'm gonna just slim them up. Honey, took the whole arch out. Ain't no arch. But you can't tell. You just want to fix that. Only thing, y'all, the only thing I don't like about my frontal is you gotta be so careful with putting makeup and stuff. Because you can make up on it, it's gonna be so. It's gonna look a mess. So, yeah. I'm going to uh, do my face and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back when I'm using this. Because I also bought this powder right here. This is the. Uh, HD Flawless Setting Powder, and because I was running out, I used my Maybelline Fit Me powder, but I was running out of it. And this is in Brightening Banana, so I'm gonna come back when I'm about to set this. So I'll be right back, and then we're gonna hop into the eyes and do all that because I didn't want this video to be too long. So we're right back when well, I'm gonna cover it up, baddie. All right, so I'm about to um, do the powder part. So I just want to show y'all. I mean, this is in my video, but anyways, we're here now. So I already um, did my face. Like, I do my concealer first now, and then I do my foundation on top of it. And then I go back in. So I just went back in with the Maybelline um, uh, Medium Concealer. Medium is the number 25, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Just to um, brighten it up. Because the one under it isn't too bright, and I didn't, you know, I don't put a lot. So, you know, I just want to bring it back. So I'm just taking my sponge. 
And I'm just gonna pat this under here, right under my eye. And I'm gonna take it a little bit up here too, because this will be my base, because we about to do eyeshadow. This is what you're here for, eyeshadow and lash application, honey. So we're just gonna do that. And I just got, my, I just got contour on my hand. This is why I hate to get light colored nails, because every time I do my makeup, Oh, sorry, I got distracted. This is why I need to not have my phone. And like I said, take it up here. Make sure it's all smooth. Go down the bridge and a little bit on the forehead. So, um, it had like a little sponge in it, but you know, no necesito. So, or no necesito. So, what I'm going to do is just pour it in the cap. I always open it like this, real slow light. And yes, yeah, so already some already came out, and it, like I said, it's in the brightening banana color. So what I do is I push it in right here, and then I boom, and then I huh, or fast. So like I said, I haven't used it, so we gonna see how it works. Honey, I'll let y'all know. I'll probably let y'all know in the description. Again, turn it around. Decide it don't have a powder on it. Tap tap tap. Huh huh, and like that. I just like to repress it in because, you know, it'll kind of sit in the lines. So, it doesn't have a smell, which is cool. Because most powders have, like, like that airspawn powder is so strong. Like, it's so strong. So, yeah, and then I have, like, this issue. Every foundation, like, gathers right here on my nose. And I can't really help it. So, what I'd like to do is kind of, like, move my nose and kind of try to get in there as best as I can but it doesn't matter what like what foundation I use just this is where it gathers for me every time boom let's let's get what y'all here for so boom this is my go-to this is my go-to look and of course you don't need these palettes to do this but these are the ones that I use so modern Ren renaissance you already knew you just knew you knew use my TARDIS Pro palette and I use my Lorac Pro palette. I just use this for one color. So yeah. So let's get it started. So boom. Sometimes I start I use the orange in this palette. If I'm being lazy I'm like getting that one out I'll use the orange. It just depends on how I'm feeling or I use the orange in this palette. It really doesn't matter. This orange is a little this orange is a little bit more reddish orange and that one's a little bit more like just like orange it's not really you know it doesn't really matter because it really don't matter to me so i'm going to use i think today i want to use this orange and this one's called Wednesday. so i'm just gonna take it got this fluffy brush and we're just gonna take it in the crease and i just like to swirl it around because this is gonna be our transition so yeah i just like to swirl it around get it in there so you can see it and do the same thing on the other eye find your crease and just put that over there and what i've been loving um what i usually do every look now is i do a half cut crease a full cut crease just doesn't look good to me on my eye i don't know why like sometimes they look cool and sometimes they don't like but a half cut crease and then this color like these colors that i use these are just like my go-to so yeah all right next next thing is i'll take this brush i'll take this brush or i have one i have a where is it oh here it is i have a sigma one that's just like it and they're like this as you can see the colors already on it so this is a sigma blending brush e20 e 25 and this is just a real technique brush so i just take okay i take all of these reds and pinks right here and i just You'll see. We just gonna put them together, honey. Then I go a little bit under, like right here where my crease is. I go like right here, and I just kind of blend it, like right there. I just kind of go, not all the way in, but like right here, and like a little C. Tap it off because it's a lot, and then we do the same thing right here. Windshield wipers, baby. Windshield wipers. And that's just all we're doing we're going back and forth and then it's really sloppy but don't worry about it because we're gonna blend but you gotta pack the color in so i do this right right okay okay i see i see then i'll take a blending brush 
So I want to take this one. This is another Sonya Kashuk one. And I just go right here where these colors are, right there. And just blend them where I just put them. And I go on like little strokes, little circles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it coming together. Y'all see it coming together. And then boom. Now I do use a black, but I do my cut crease, but I don't go straight in with the black. So what I do first is I get a brown. So where's the brown here? So I get this and I use the I use the brown in this palette or I use the brown in here. So like I said, it really didn't matter. I kind of juggle between the two, but they're about the same color. So I use this. You see this smoke color right here? And we'll just tap it. And then right where I want the black to be, this is where I start. So I come right here, kind of on the lid in this little corner. And I just tap, like I just pat it. Because this is just going to be the base for the black. Because I just don't like black. Like, you know, I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm put that right there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye because I like to do my eyes at the same time. I don't know how people do one eye and come back. I mean, I guess to save time, but I need to do them at the same time because ain't nobody got time for that. And you just kind of put it right there. And I'm just literally just tapping and tapping. I like guess all I'm doing is tapping and building that color up. So now, now what you gonna do, you gonna go back, you gonna go back with the blue blending brush that we was using from Sonya Kashi, and we just gonna circular motions, boo, circular motions, circular motions. That's all you need, boo, that's all you need. If you can circular motions, you can do your eyeshadow. If you can windshield wipe, boo, you can do your eyeshadow. Now, my most important, oh, I didn't even grab it. So now I go in with my favorite blending brush, which is the e.l.f. one. It don't even, I, it's just rubbed off. But it's this one like this. It's like fluffy. And I go in with this black. And this is probably the the blackest black I have ever, ever had. And it's at the Lorette Pro Palette. And it's literally called Black. And I mean, no other name is needed but black. Because it is black. So we just dip in there. And this is really potent. Like, it's so pigmented. We're going to tap it off. And we're going to go right there. You see where we got that? It's like, a, it's like we drew a map. So I'm going to go right there. I'm gonna just put it like the right there. I'm literally just tapping it in. Then once you tap it in, please do not go back in to get no more black because you don't need it, sis. If you think you need it, you don't. We're gonna rather have less than more. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna kind of swirl it. Like we're kind of pulling it out a little bit, just a little bit. And then, but we're gonna keep it low. Keep it low. We don't want it to go all the way up to the crease. We're gonna keep it right there. And then don't don't think that we're done, but we're gonna go to the next side. So we're gonna tap, 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 right? Tap, tap that off, and we're gonna do the same thing. See where I got my base, all right? Go right there, and go up a little bit, but not all the way up into the crease. Come, in, come on back down, keep it low. Make sure nothing else is on there, and then kind of blend. We're doing mini windshield wipers, not, not, some, not big ones. With your wipers and circles, with your wipers and circles, boo. That's the key to success. It is, it is, it is. And then I'm going to take it out a little bit. Out a little bit, but not up into the crease. So now, now usually I will use, I got this brush from Wet n Wild, which I really, really like because it's fluffy and soft. And then I have this one right here, which is more detailed. And this is the Taper Blending Brush by Sigma E40. And I'm going to come back to this one, but right now I'm going to use this one. And we're just going to right here with this black and this red how you just see like red orange and then black we finna get it together we just finna blend you just finna blend sis that's all you finna do that's all you finna do all you finna do you gonna blend you gonna blend and you see how it's already like you don't even see that harsh line that's why i love this brush i'm gonna go ahead and blend out this other one and i'll be right back Okay, the next part is cutting your crease. I just went ahead and did this one off camera because, honey, it always gives me an issue. I be trying to act it and I be trying to get it snatched up, period. So what you're going to do is half cut crease. So we're not cutting the whole thing. We're just cutting a little bit. So what I do is it's really bad to pull your eyes, but I just have to because I just have to. So I just pull my eyes down and then I take, I got this little brush. It's like tapered and I just dipped it in my little NYX uh, paint, not paint pot, my NYX eyeshadow base. Pull my eye down and I like start right here 
not like the corner but right there right before the corner then I get I turn it get the corner pull it up stop fill it in fill it in and that's all I do corner pull fill it in I kind of just kind of feather it out and then I just stop right there and then I just make sure that they're they have about the same amount of lid space covered, which they do. And then that's just that. And that's how I halfway cut my crease. Now I go in with this fluffy brush right here. And I usually use different a different color and another palette, but I was like, that's a lot of palettes. I don't feel like grabbing that palette. So any shimmer would do, but uh, shimmers that I really like is this shimmer and this one. As you can see, it's called Glam. It's got a hole in it. It's off any pan. And I like any of these shimmers down here. But I would say that Lip Bronze is my favorite. So I think that I'm going to. But I think I'm going to go in with Glam out of this uh, Tarte palette. So I just get my little eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. Which is, hey, look, don't sleep on e.l.f. Just don't. And I just, I literally get my, I get my brush in there. It's probably why it's hitting pan because I be getting in there. And I get it and I just. I tap tap revolution boo if you've been watching my channel you know we tap tap revolution around here just tap that in and then whew, same thing on this side because it's all about symmetry it's all about what you do on one side you must do to the other only thing i remember from math algebra whatever what you do to one side you must do to the other And that's it. Then we go back in with the brush that I laid down the brown with. That like fluffy kind of plump brush. We go in this corner right with this line. Like there's like a demarcation line. You see where I just put the gold and where I got the brown and the black and all that. Sorry y'all. Coming out my slipper. Um, and just come in here and just. Honey you just get it together child. Just get it together. Just get it together however you need to get it together. If you need to dip back into the brown. And I, I would dip back into brown before black. And I'm going to go back over it. But I'm all about, I'd rather it be too light than too dark. Because I can fix it if it's too light. It's kind of hard to fix it when it's too dark. There's a thin line between raccoon and black eye. Just want you to know. So, we're just going to pat, pat, pat. Get that in there. And yeah. Same thing on this side. Gonna get it together, gonna get it together, then girl. Gonna get it together then, Abby. Then I'm gonna go back with the black. And I'm gonna very hey, tread lightly. Tread lightly. Just gonna put that right, right in there. Gonna put that in there, girl. Gonna put that in there. Gonna put that and then the other brush. Don't forget about that other brush. Cause I didn't. Did y'all? Did y'all forget about the other brush? Now we're gonna take the Sigma taper blending brush we're gonna be right up up in there honey just right up in here just gonna blend it just gonna blend it child we're just gonna blend it honey we're just gonna blend it we are gonna blend it then what i also like to do is i go back in with this brush where i had all like the red and the pink on it and i just go right here where it's cut it cut it where it's cut and kind of go back over it because i don't want it to lose that color because all this blending has you know, knock some of that color away. We're just going to go lightly over it. Same thing on that eye. And, I mean, honestly, it's just all about blending. I'm still not the best at blending, but it's all about blending. Like, that's all. That's all, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. And, yeah. Then, I always go back over it once I put my lashes on. So, now, the most important, the most important next part is lashes. Um... I'm, I haven't really been doing, I used to love liner y'all, but I haven't really been into it because it be messing, it can make up, it can mess, it can make or break your look, like it can mess up easily, so yeah. So these are my lashes in style city girl, you know, hit me up if you need them. So what I'm going to do is, they already, I already know that they fit because I wore them the other day, like they're fine. So what I do is I take the lash and the easiest thing for beginners, um, for lashes and oh I don't know if I'm yeah I'm gonna use this black glue is get a brush on adhesive just get the brush on adhesive it'll it's a lifesaver it'll make your life way easier and I literally just 
brush it on. So I'm just taking it and doing a thin layer and brushing it on. And my lash band is clean. There's no build of glue on it from the last time I wore it, which is another thing. If you have lashes and you go and you can rewear them, you can rewear my lashes all the time. Make sure that you're taking care of them. Make sure you take the extra glue off of it so that they can be ready for next wear. So boom, we put that on. Put the little thin layer on. Boom, I'm gonna let it sit and move on to the next lash. Huh. Same thing. Brush that on. And this is the black glue by Duo. And I like the brush on because it's just easier for me to get my job done. Hit me. In and out of there. Yeah, and this one, I usually don't have to dip in so many times, but this one's almost out. So that's why I'm dipping so many times, but it's still a thin layer. I don't do a lot. It's just this one's almost out. <laughs> just at the B-Swap store and didn't buy another one. Wow, so smart of me. But yeah, so what I'm about to do while those are drying, because you need to let your lashes dry for like one one to two minutes so the, it gets tacky so they can just stick on. I'm going to wipe all this powder off and get, you know, my face together and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and um, wiped up all my powder and all that, sprayed my face, whatever. It still needs to set for a second, but yeah, and I did the, um, I did white in my bottom eyeliner, I mean, in my bottom water, bottom water line. Can we talk? Come on, let's get together, girl. I did white in my bottom um, waterline because I just didn't want to do black because I was like, that's going to be... I just didn't want to do black. So, yeah, and I did... Um, I took the same, like, red or whatever and took it under my eyes. So, that's all I did. So, yeah. And I do have mascara on. I went ahead and put mascara on my bottom lashes and put a little bit on my top. So, boom. So, yeah. Don't remember which one I put on first. I think I put this one on. So, I take my take my uh, lash and whatever and I make sure and some people need tweezers but my nails are so long I don't need tweezers but when I put lashes on other people I use tweezers sometimes depending on if I know you know just depending on so what I do is I like to wiggle it to like break it from being because these are another pair of lash like I just I just wore them one time I just opened them the other day so and this will kind of like break that band from being so straight so once I have that I know that this is my left. This is my. I know this is y'all's. Um, y'all, this might be y'all right, but this is my left eye. So is it? Yeah, this is my <laughs> left eye. So what I do is I just do that, and then I get real close to the mirror. So I hope that y'all can see this. And I just literally just place it on. So I go make sure that I'm above my lash. I look kind of down, and I place it. I look, all right, and I just stamp the middle. Ooh, y'all can't even see how I want to move my hand. And I just kind of like put it on. Start from, it, it, it just depends on the day, like where I start. I might start in the middle, I might start in the end. And I just place it on. Open my eyes, see how we going. Close my eye again. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And this lash glue is black, so I mean, I might get black on here, but I'll fix it later. So don't even worry about it, but I just make sure that it's on. And I just wiggle and push, wiggle and push, wiggle and push, and then the lash is on. And that's really all it is to it. Literally, you just literally are putting it on. But I think that what people mess up on is they don't let the lash glue fully get tacky. And then it's too sticky. To, I mean, it's, yeah, it's too wet. So when they put it on, it be sliding and glued in your eyes. And it's, just, it's a mess. I did it too when I first started doing lashes. Like, I didn't know you were supposed to let it dry. So I was just putting it on, putting the glue on and putting it on. I don't use hair glue on my lashes, so that's just a personal preference. I don't use hair glue to put on my lashes. That's just my thing. If you ask me to use hair glue to put on your lashes, I probably won't put your lashes on. That's just me. I just hair glue is for your hair, lash glue is for lashes. That's just how I see. I know it's quicker. I've done it before because I, I ran out of glue when I was somewhere, but I really don't. That's just I, something I don't do because if something happened, you're not gonna blind me. You hear me, period. So from the same thing. With this one, I didn't wiggle it. It's dry. Let it look down. I'm trying to, cause I need to see. Look down and plop, plop on. There we go. And above my lashes, and then I just placed it on. And literally, that's it. Like literally, she's on. And what I'm going to do is, I see it was a little raised up in the middle, so I'm going to go and press it down, press it down, press it down, and now this is on. 
And now I'm the life of the party, boo. I'm here and I'm here to take your man. But I'm not here to keep him. Okay? And that's it, y'all. That's literally it. That's how you get your lashes on. And they on, honey. They are on. So now, let's say you like me. You made a mistake and you got a little bit of the lash glue on your eyes. Especially if you don't have like the one that dries clear. You got the one that dries black like I do. That's all you do. You take your lid color. So I'm going to go back with um, Glam and my brush. Tap, tap, tap. Close my Close it. And I'm going to just go. It's no issue. Same thing on this eye. Ta, 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 ta. Boom, it's gone. Who made a mistake? Not I. I'm perfect. So, boom, that's that. So, yeah, so that is my go to eye look. It, it's really simple. It's whatever, you know, lashes on. And yeah, so I'm going to finish my face and I'll be right back with y'all. I'm going to do my lip or whatever. My go to lip. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing but my go to lip. Let me just show y'all. This brown lip liner that I use for my brows and a gloss. That's it. That's it. That's what I be doing. Especially when I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know what I'm about to have on. So that's what we're going to do. I'll be right back to close out the video. What else is up? I got powder all over me. So let me get my lights together. I'll be right back, y'all. And yeah, that's the finished look. I just popped on this Beauty Plus Stove lip gloss. This, this, uh, the, I don't know why I can't talk today. Ultra Lip Coconut Oil Lip Gloss Hydrates, Locks, and Shines. Why does everybody want to call me? Sorry, my daddy called. <laughs> like my daddy. My, my blood daddy. Don't stay. You're nasty. You little nasty. <laughs> little nasty. Um, anyways, but yeah, this is the look, y'all. This is the finished look. Like I said, I just threw on this gloss. Boom. Like, especially when I don't know what I'm like. Like, where we going or what's the vibe going to be. Or I don't know what I'm going to put on. But I know I need to go ahead and do my makeup. This is the look that I do. The eyeshadow look. Because it just really goes with anything. But you can do any look with it. So, yeah. And, yeah. Um, thank y'all for what thank y'all for watching honey like comment subscribe go on and share the video and share with your mom with your daddy your sister your cousin your auntie your pets i told y'all don't judge until next video bye guys